And we are live. Hey everybody, Chef Eric Eisenbud here, the Grateful Chef, coming at you another Wednesday night with a great episode of Cooking in the Grateful Chef Kitchen with me, Chef Eric Eisenbud. Thank you all so much for joining us. If you're new in your first episode, just chime in, say hello, and make sure you check out all our back episodes. They're on YouTube, they're on Facebook, on this the Facebook group. And they're also on my personal page. And if you ever have any questions about cooking or you're stuck or whatever, just reach out for me and I'll help you the best I can. So today it is a beautiful day, 77 degrees, low humidity here in New Jersey. And I just wanted to give a shout out to anybody who is in the path of Hurricane Laura. Godspeed. You know, prepare, be ready. It's coming. And, uh, you know, I, I, we wish you all the best for you and your family. Um, so today we are doing yet another by request. So I had asked for people, hey, throw out your requests. I'll see if I can get them on. We did one last week with that awesome octopus. It was killer. This week we're doing salmon on the grill. And I want to go big shout out to Donna. We're going to pronounce it Meador. It could be meter, but it's Meador. In and, our world. And she's watching. And she's watching. Thank you, Donna, because you're the one that suggested we do fish on the grill. Tuna, salmon. I'm doing salmon today, and I'm really excited that you're watching. Thank you for the recommendations. Anyone else have any um, suggestions or things they'd like to see us do? Proof's in the pudding. Put it out there. We'll do our best to uh, get it on air. And that's awesome. So today we're doing cedar plank salmon, which is a great technique. I love it. It adds a great smoky flavor. Um, so even if you're doing it on a gas grill, you're going to get some of that smoky flavor. And I'm also doing a smoky cedar plank salsa, sort of a salsa. So let's get right to it. Super excited. Again, having fun with the good old Rec Tech Wild Side, my new favorite cooking apparatus. And I am using a little hybrid here. I got my Weber kettle lid because that's one thing this doesn't have a lid, you know. Um, so what I've got under here already is the vegetables. I got them started and I want you to see these things. So basically what I did was I charred the plank. I put the vegetables down onto the char side and I just left them under here. They've been on about 15-20 minutes and wait till you see this guys. Woo! Look Wow, at that. The board is burning. Well, that's the point. The board is burning. So Look we want that. that smoky flavor. Oh my God, that's really and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to throw them right into the bowl of my food processor. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, all the sugars have come out of the vegetables. Look at that, gorgeous. So we're going to throw these in here. So I've got an heirloom tomato. Doesn't matter if it sticks. We're gonna have plenty here. I've got garlic cloves. I've got that, obviously, the red bell pepper. Throw that in there. This is a nice Jersey tomato. I'm gonna squeeze out some of that water so we have more of a chunky situation here. This is a Jersey peach. Mm. Awesome. More garlic. Everything's peeled. This is an onion. I did an onion in half. You can see it's nice and soft. I'm going to throw all this in there. We're going to see what we get. So I got that basically repeating here. An onion, an heirloom tomato, a peach. They actually sound like air as you're pulling them off. Yeah, they're so soft and yummy. I can smell it. It's great. And then this is that, uh, that Jersey beautiful tomato. All right, so that's in there. This can get tossed in the garbage. We won't need it. I'm going to put it uh, in my ash bucket just to cool. I'm going to clean this grill off a little bit, some of the sugars. Now, what I want to do is I want to get the next board charred for the salmon. So, let's see. I have, I have soaked these boards for two hours. These are cedar planks. You get them any supermarket. I know Whole Foods uh, sells them. So I'm going to put it down onto my grill and I'm going to lower it down. And what I wanted to do, I want to get that bottom part charred. So 
all right and I'll show you what that looks like but so for the uh, purposes of this video I already charred one so this is what you're looking for you're looking to get that char on here and we are going to load up our salmon what I want to do first is I want to season the surface can you see that okay Lynn So I am using one of my favorite products, Pork Mafia. This is their this is their Texas Gold. You're going to be hearing a lot about Pork Mafia uh, rubs and sauces and Bloody Mary mixes from me coming up. So I'm really excited. Phil's a really uh, awesome dude. He's a good friend of mine, and um, yeah, I'm happy to uh, talk about his products because they're damn good. They're damn good. So I'm using the Texas Gold, so I'm just going to put a nice little coating on the bottom. So the salmon I'm using today, I was not able to get the skin on salmon unless I bought the whole fish. And we don't really need that much salmon here, so I, I had to settle for skinless. Alright, so I've got that on, and here's our salmon, a beautiful piece of salmon. I'm going to, and again, it's skinless, it's boneless. I'm going to put it right onto my Texas Gold. That's pretty cool. And then we are going back with a generous layer. Let's check our cedar plank. And there you go. So it's getting there. I'm not going to need that, but I can certainly use it next time. We're going to go back in with a generous dusting of Texas Gold. I mean, this has got pepper in it. It's got a little uh, mustardy. It's really tasty. It's got a little sweetness to it. I love this rub. Generous, generous, generous. So since it's pork mafia, it, is, would this one also be good for pork? If this is good for pork, chicken, shrimp. Most of his, uh, if not all of the rubs are interchangeable. You know, you go with whatever flavor profile you want. There's a you know, there's there's many different kinds, and if you want, uh, you know, Texas style tasting chicken, use Texas Gold. You know, so, there's a lot of different uh, flavor profiles that he's got. It's awesome. I'm trying to get this little edge here, and Pages. there we go. Look at that beautiful, beautiful coating. Kay just came back with definitely not the best video to watch as I'm eating meatloaf. I love meatloaf. So does Lynn. I love meatloaf. All right, so there we've got our charred board. I'm going to put this down because we do not need it today. Let that cool. I mean, the smell of the cedar is phenomenal. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our. We're going to go ahead and put our cedar plank with the salmon on it. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. And actually, let it get, get. I'm going to let it get going, and I'm going to buzz up our little salsa. And then I'm gonna put some corn. I'm gonna put some corn right into the coals. So let's see what we got here. I've got a blade in here that is not the cutting blade. So this is your regular cutting blade. This is a little bit shorter. It's not sharp. It's just gonna kinda beat it up a little bit. I'm gonna pulse it. Because I really want this to be chunky. It's okay if you have a couple of chunks of the onion in there, it's fine. This is going to be kind of like a, not even like a salsa, almost like a chutney on top. Let's give it a quick mix around. I like, it's nice and chunky, it's not too wet. I'm going to get some of the, most of that onion has broken up a little bit. We're going to do a little bit more. And that's it guys, that's what I want for this. That's going to go onto our fish. It's going to be phenomenal. We also have Alan Smith out there. He said, what's up? Hey, what's up, Alan? And Donna said, thank you. Love. Awesome, Donna. It's our pleasure. We aim to please. All right, so I'm just going to put this in my little bowl. You can see that our cedar plank is beginning to smoke, which is exactly what you want. That looks lovely. There you go. I did salt the 
uh, vegetables before I put them on, but I am gonna add a little bit more salt. Going in with my Fina mill. All right, if I want, yeah, if you want, you can do a little lemon juice. We'll maybe do that later. But there you go, that's our salsa. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. I am even gonna taste it. Bill said that's gonna be epic. Epic. Epic, that'd be so Wingo said that will be epic. Hmm. I think it does need a little bit of fresh lemon, just a little acid going on. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit in there. And it definitely needs some pepper. Nice, Mark, awesome. Mark Kershaw says, love the grill, but my wife will shoot me if I get another. Um, I, I would say I, I would say the same thing. I didn't tell Lynn that I really want the new uh, the, the uh, Rectec Matador. Actually, you did tell me that. Mm. Can I get them both? This is killer. Killer, killer. So this is going to go over here for our final product. And so oh, you can wow, see. Oh, that smells good. Is that awesome? Yeah. Before I put the lid on, I'm going to raise this up. We're getting crazy. Uh, Mario Choppy said, Pork Mafia has great products that you can find online. Excellent. Yes. This is true. So what I've done here is I've got fresh Jersey corn picked. It's about a mile away from here. I buttered them, salted them, put them in the foil. And guess what? We're getting crazy. I don't know. This could be make popcorn. It could burn to death. We don't know. But... We're doing it anyway. I just like to point out how red those charcoals are on the inside. Charcoals are red. And we're gonna lower down. We're gonna keep raising it up to mix those up. So you have to flip this thing over. No. I'm going to put the lid on top. Oh. And we're gonna let that cook, and we're gonna see what is gonna happen. So what I also have here, which I'm just gonna do very quickly later. Or maybe I can do it now. I had some uh, broccolini that was starting to get a little old, so I said, "Why not?" I got the fire going. Why don't I? Uh, why don't I just throw it on? So I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna throw that on right here if I got to make the room for it. I've doused this in fresh garlic and olive oil, and we're gonna put this on, and we're gonna try not to lose it through the grill. Charred broccolini. Who doesn't love charred broccolini? I'm gonna let that take on a little color. Look at that. Woo, that's gonna be great. All right, let me put this away. Do a little clean up here. Has anyone offered any suggestions for future episodes of The Grateful Chef? Not yet. Uh oh. Making noise. Time to get a uh, underdog super energy pill right here. Beautiful sun gold tomatoes. From like our tomato trees. Mm. Like, and I can't say they're better than M&M's. Because they're not. And, and over here we have Swapna. And Swapna, hi Swapna. Swapna thinks they're better than M&M's. Yes. All right, I want to go over here, and I'm just going to grab this. I want to show you. Am I coming over to you? Are you no, coming I'm over gonna, to me? I'm going to bring it back over there. So this, hopefully you guys saw my post on the roasted tomatoes. These tomatoes. Fantastic tomatoes. Um, so this was really simple. I just put them in this dish, and I put in some salt I put in some garlic you can see a whole head cut in half this is beautifully roasted I can take it out I put some cloves in there I put some coriander seed which Swapna will be really happy about and copious amounts of olive oil and I roasted them in a 350 degree oven at the end 
I put them under the broiler and charred them up. This is going to be yet another topping for our beautiful salmon. So Let's check our this is kind of funny. Kevin just asked for, I, I believe it's what he wants to see next. Yeah. Grilled pizza. Grilled pizza? All right. Hold on. Hold on a second. All right. Let's satisfy Kevin right now. And also going in my wild side is grilled pizza. All right, Kevin. Thank you for that recommendation. Hope you enjoyed your episode. <laughs> this is great pizza from Stan's Chitches here in New Jersey in Boundbrook. And this is phenomenal sausage pie right here. And there's another one underneath. And that is there because my daughter doesn't eat salmon. So, how to make arrangements. Thank you, Swapna. All right, we're going to take a quick peek at this because we do not want the board to go on fire. But you can see that salmon is beginning to cook very well. Put that on. I am going to raise her up because I want to. I want to mix the corn up. I can hear this corn just sizzling and popping. You gonna peek at it, or you gonna just? Nope. Keep... We're just gonna keep turning it. I'm gonna trust in the process. Uh, and Kate said no suggestions, but the the scallops you made the other day looked amazing, and they awesome. they, they actually were amazing. Yes, that scallops, my friend Cade were the very first episode of The Grateful Chef was perfectly roasted scallops, or uh, pan-seared scallops. And the, and the first meal I ever made for Eric. You want to see that episode, go on to YouTube. And the first meal I ever made for Eric was also pan-seared scallops. Yes, she at, did a phenomenal job. At which point he was standing over me, watching me not knowing how to cook scallops, going, well, I don't want to take over. She got so many accolades from her co-workers on that meal so yeah. all, all my all co-workers friends all were like wow those were beautiful scallops beautiful scallops thinking that I had cooked them nope all right so you know what guys I appreciate you watching my show but I was thinking the other day and very curious what other internet shows do you like to watch because I have my favorites which I'll share with you, but if you guys have favorites, because, you know, I'm always looking for, for new and exciting exciting things. And, you know, I'm talking about the, the, uh, the uh, channels less traveled, as they say. Not so, you know, listen, I'm not, no, no dig on the Food Network, because they've got some things, you know. But, um, you know, I like, there's a lot of things that I like. we got a, an old Italian guy here in New Jersey that is Pasquale. He is awesome, and he's cooking his Italian food that he grew up eating, and uh, I mean, he just did like a hour long, or maybe more, on making his sauce that he makes every year, and it was just amazing, totally, um, totally educational, like I'm learning a lot about Italian cooking, he's doing Italian-American stuff too, and he's doing American stuff, but uh, he's great to watch, I love it, his videos are really cool. What are, what are some of the places, the, the videos that you guys watch? That's what I want to know. All right, so as, as we're looking for anybody to answer that question, yes, uh, yes. Jonathan Kushner said, Mario Chaffee and I are coming soon to New Jersey Wholesale Warehouse to supply the superstar chefs of the East Coast with Pork Mafia. Fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. That's going to be awesome. That. Yes. Let's see. Let's take a peek. See where we're at. Oh yeah, it's getting there. Oh yeah, I can feel it flaking already. It's wonderful. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to switch the. I'm going to actually move this over just a little bit. In the hotter section. Oops. Are you going to put the tomatoes on it? What? Are you putting tomatoes on? No. Nope. No? Okay. That's going to be as we eat. I'm going to move the broccolini over here. And Kate said, every now and then when we catch stingrays while fishing, we'll keep one and make poor man's scallops. Nice. Um, and then...
And then Mike Johnson asked, do you ever do venison? I have cooked venison in my career and lifetime, um, but I have not grilled any. So that's an interesting <coughs> recommendation, although Lynn does not like venison. I don't, don't I? think. Do you? I've had it. Oh, she's had it. I have some venison tenderloin in my freezer that maybe, just maybe, maybe in the week. early fall, oh. or maybe next week, when it starts, you know, things start to cool down a little bit, uh, maybe we'll have to do a nice venison. So my guess is, is that the only show they love to watch, yes. and the only thing on Facebook they watch, is you. Because we've gotten no responses to your question. Thank you. I appreciate that. What I would love to share this with your friends and family, have a watch party. Just go on, if you're on Facebook, you can start a watch party and get whoever happens in your world to be watching or on Facebook, they can chime in and watch and, you know, let's, uh, let's blow this thing up. All right. This broccolini is getting really nice. Are you going to plate that on the big red plate? I'm going to plate the salmon on the big red plate and maybe put some broccolini around it. All righty. It's going to be beautiful. And Kevin said, if you do venison, Millbrook venison is a good source. I have. No idea what that is. I have. I know, but I have um, in my freezer, I have D'Artagnan venison. Which I'm sure is a great source. Which is fantastic. All right, flipping our corn again. This is going to be very interesting. Love it. I'm glad I thought of it. Uh, it's like sizzling. You can hear the, the butter going. Uh, Kate, Kate asked, uh, the, or said, the only, the only other chef he watches is Chef John on Food Wishes. Yes, on, on Taste. Is it Taste? He said, he said Food Wishes. That's it. Is he the, uh, the rotund Asian gentleman? Because I watch a Chef John, and he's a Chinese chef, another chef that I learn a ton from. I love Chef John. I've learned a lot of good technique from him. It's awesome. Uh, Mike Johnson said, I tune in for all these videos, but we'll set my alarm for venison. Fantastic. All right. I'll make sure that we give you fair warning on the venison. Definitely. Tenderloin. It's yes. Beautiful and tender. Get, get Swapna come back and have her try venison for the first time. Come on, Swapna. <laughs> All right, I can smell the broccolini. We're cooking with our nose here, people. I can see that we've got some char action. I'm going to flip it around. Yeah, this is getting done. That is beautiful. Nice. What we'll do is risk a giant inferno. I'm going to step back then. Step back. I'm going to put a little bit of fresh olive oil on there. It's much cooler back here too. There we go. Look at that. A little fire. It's a fire. Come on. Come on, almost. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Here's my broccolini container. Pull this broccolini off. And that is done. We've got Nino with us tonight. Hey, Nino. Yeah, <coughs> uh, Jonathan. <coughs> Jonathan. Person. Yeah, he said yeah. He he was, he was, no, I think he was just responding to something. He said yeah, brother. Nice. Um, oh, oh. Like the corn is frying in the butter. I can hear it. It's amazing. Oh, wow. I bet they can hear yeah. it now, too. All right, so this is going to go on. I can get a good angle. Plating There we go. Watching, watching corn cook. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at this a little bit lower. I'm just going to 
check for flaking. Uh, wow. Oh yeah, so that, the, the sides are definitely getting there. The middle still has a little time to go. So what we'll end up doing is plating, we'll, we'll peel the corn, I mean, unwrap it while our salmon finishes with the corn in there. And uh, yeah, beautiful thing. Anyway, <clears throat> should I check one of the corns? Yes, please. Our seasoned corn. I'm going to check and see if it's done. Because this is real fresh Jersey corn. It does not take much. Oh, yeah. Corn is done. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Kate said it looks a whole lot better than pizza. You Donna, know what? Don't, don't knock amazing. pizza. Oh, the, the pizza's awesome. But this will, at least for me, be better than pizza. I had a piece of pizza before we went on live. I couldn't resist. The pizza appetizer? Pizza appetizer. All right, let's see what I got here. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's Phenomenal. Fantastic. Corn. Amazing. We need to fish down. Yep. We undo this one. I'll grab another. Oh yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful roasted corn. We'll take them all off, get our fish down. We'll peel some corn. This uh, is what summer living is all about right here. And Ruby just said, what's going on, Eric? Loving what's the grill. Up, Ruby? Loving the grill. We got the salmon going. You guys remember Ruby from last week. He's the guy that got that killer octopus. All right, I actually really am digging this method. So of course, I've got white corn. I've got the bicolor corn. Absolutely stunning, look at that. Gorgeous. All right, stack up our garbage over there. So for people that have just joined, you wanna tell them what you're working on? I am making, woo! My fingers burn. We are doing cedar plank salmon. And we're doing cedar plank, we did a cedar plank salsa, where I charred the cedar plank, I put um, some tomatoes, some garlic, some onions, some red peppers, uh, a peach, and I put it cut side down onto the charred side of the, the cedar plank. And uh, then we buzzed it into the, in the food processor. And now I am taking the corn, which I buttered and salted, wrapped in foil, and put directly on the coals. And as you can see, that's awesome. All right, so there we go, we've got that. I am going to take one piece of the foil and cover the corn to keep it warm. Of course, I'm doing the ash side out bring this over to our plating and we're in the home stretch people let's get this to a clean up I just wanted you to taste it nice I know you do let's take a look oh, oh my god that smells incredible that cedar the cedar with the salmon can't beat it. All right, we are getting there in that center. Almost. 
Well, being that it is salmon, and salmon can be eaten rare, I'm going to go ahead and take it off. What do you think about that? I think that's a fantastic idea. All right, so what I want to do is and if we need platter. To, if we need to cook it, we can throw it back on. Exactly. So put my platter over here, make my life easier. Look at this, people. This is such a great way to cook salmon, healthy way too. All right, so I am going to, now this is gonna be easier because it doesn't have the skin. When you do salmon with the skin, it tends to wanna to stick to the board. Gorgeous. This is trash. And what is the brown stuff that fell off the side? That is the um, board. The, no, this is the Texas gold. Oh. Huh. Off the charts. All right. Let's go over here now. Our delicious corn. We got our beautiful salmon. That is gorgeous. We're going to plate our broccolini. It's going to go around the salmon. Like so. How beautiful does that look? That's lovely. Amazing. We are going to use a little bit of our, see I'm going to clear the little area on the side for the salsas. You come over. Could you hold the camera? The, I hold that. Like that. And we're going to put some of our beautiful cedar plank salsa right on one side. And we can spoon it as we serve it. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. And then, as if that weren't enough, we're going to take some of our beautifully roasted cherry tomatoes. We won't need that sprig. And I'm letting the liquid kind of drain towards one end. And I'm scooping just the tomatoes. Make sure I get the garlic. I love it. This is beautiful. And on top, the crown jewel is going to be our beautiful roasted garlic. These will come to the table. The corn. I think I'm going to eat a piece of corn first. Right here right now and it is really hot but I'm taking one for the team mm. really super sweet corn this year buttery salty already was it, was it good from it from being in the grill yeah we got a char from the grill all right now I'm just gonna go ahead go ahead and I'm gonna take a small piece in the corner no, I'm not taking a small piece. I'm taking a big piece. Take a small enough piece that you can hide it with the broccoli so yep. you can then take a picture. And I'm going to take a little bit of the oh, salsa. Now look at this, guys. Take a look. How awesome is that? That's wow. beautiful. Mm. The combination of the cedar smoke and Texas gold from pork mafia it's off the charts this is a winner I love this dish cedar plank cooking is not difficult you guys can do it the cedar planks are available just remember a couple things you want to soak them for two hours you want to char the one side flip it over put your stuff on the charred side 
and continue to cook. You got to do it with a cover on it. You could totally do it in a gas grill, no problem. As long as you have a cover, you're good to go. You let it roast. And this is a really simple and easy way to feed your family in the summer, in a nice hot summer day. It's killer. And so, no dishes on the inside. And no dishes on the inside. Woo! It's awesome. So, guys, as always, we express extreme gratitude for you and sharing me and Lynn and getting us known to your family and friends. We love that. We love that you chime in. You look at our show and watch our show every week. And we're looking forward to seeing you again next week. Not sure if we're doing venison yet, but we will. I promise. And uh, I'm going to say be well, eat well, be kind. And we'll see you on the next Grateful Chef video. Peace.